Now, from the bleachers to the end zones, Red Iron Suckland down the coast. Live from the largest sports team on local television, this is Friday Football Focus. Rivalries and league openers highlight this week's edition of Friday Football Focus. I am Mike Clan. Let's get started with a channel league clash. League favorite Pacifica coming up from Oxnard to Peabody Stadium to face a Santa Barbara team expecting to be in the mix for a league title. Opening drive of the game, Santa Barbara on the Pacifica 38, fourth and nine, too close to punt. Abel Renteria takes off, comes up just short of the first down marker. Tritons take over. Pacifica moves right down the field. Dominic Durand to Vernon Bell, first down. Facing third and goal at the 10, Durand to Day Day Ipu. Touchdown Pacifica as Day Day does a tightrope to stay in bounds. Seven nothing Pacifica. Next, Triton's possession, Pacifica driving, but this time DJ Wilson with the interception. He had one at Thousand Oaks to begin the season. He gets another one here. Outstanding multi-sport athlete is Wilson. Second quarter now, it's Pacifica's defense with a nice play. Abel Renteria gets sacked. Triton's force a punt. Pacifica turns to their standout running back, Josh Joyner, with a terrific 25-yard run, showing the power and the quickness. What a talent he is. He finishes the drive. With a four-yard touchdown run, 14-0 Tritons. Don's trying to get the offense going. Renteria downfield to Winston Bartley. That's a first down, but two plays later, SB fumbles it away. Pacifica getting right back in the end zone. Joyner scoring from nine yards out. It's 21-0 Pacifica. But after the Tritons kicked off to the Don's, they strike in a hurry. Abel Renteria, next play. Airs it out to Sammy Congdon, wide open. He's going to make a nice cut, get into the end zone for a 59-yard Don's touchdown. They were down 21-6 at the half. Renteria connected with Kai Malt on an 80-yard touchdown. Mid-fourth quarter, Don's pulled within six at 21-15, but that's as close as they would get. Tritons are 3-0. They win the Channel League opener 28-15. That's five straight wins for Pacifica in this series. Don stay put. They get ready for the annual big game with San Marcos next week. Always a fun night in the Santa Maria area with the Battle of the Helmet. Rivals Pioneer Valley and Rigetti. The Rooster, who never has helmet hair, joins us with the highlights. Hey, Mike, it's the 17th annual Battle for the Helmet between Rigetti and rival Pioneer Valley Warriors coming in tonight, hoping to make it six straight wins in this series while the Panthers are hoping to get the helmet back for the first time since 2016. And just like the TV show, The Bachelor, this could be the most dramatic game of the season. No roses here, but there is the coveted helmet that they're both battling for. Both teams tonight coming in one and one on the year so far. Opening drive for the Panthers. Alexander Garcia handing it off quickly to Alan Jimenez. He finds a hole, he finds some daylight. He turns Google Earth off because he knows right where he's going. Headed to the end zone, 62 yards. And Pioneer Valley takes the lead, 7-0. Seven minutes later on fourth and goal. Cash Carter rolling out and going to find Alejandro Nares in the end zone. Touchdown Warriors. We are tied up at seven. Crowd loving it. Probably also loving the three-day weekend. Second quarter now, third and 15. No flight delays here. Garcia firing down the field to Adrian Batista, and he takes it into the end zone, 42 yards. Pioneer Valley up 14 to seven. A little bit later, ball on the Panther two yard line. Pepe Gonzalez in to take the snap, and he finds some daylight, and he is gone. 98 yards, Tom Brady's first retirement announcement, not even that long. Pioneer Valley rolling at the moment, 21 to seven, and looking like they might just run away with this thing, but hold on, Rigetti coming back one minute later. Carter gonna roll out, can't find anybody. He's gonna just take it himself, getting it done. Gets the ball over the goal line, 19 yards for the score. It's 21-14 a few minutes later on fourth and goal. Rigetti good on fourth and goal tonight. Cash Carter doing it again, getting over the goal line. We are now tied up at 21 at the half. Boy, what kind of second half would we get? Third quarter, third and 13. Pioneer Valley with the ball. Garcia rolling, 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 almost stumbling. Finally, finding Elias Gideons in the end zone for the touchdown. There were almost as many touchdowns in this game tonight as there were Ken's in the recent Barbie movie. Pioneer Valley goes on to get the win tonight, 35 to 28. Pioneer Valley will be at Dos Palos next week. Rigetti will enjoy the bye week. 
in Santa Maria tonight for Friday Football Focus. Kevin Roos, Mike, back to you. Thank you, Kevin. Across the way from Rigetti at St. Joseph, the Knights defense would have to bring their A-plus game to pass the test against super sophomore quarterback Brady Smigel in Newbury Park. Friday Football Focus senior reporter Dave Alley has more on the sensational Brady Smigel. Mike, I've seen some pretty good players play here at St. Joseph over the years. Lorenzo Booker, Robert Woods comes to mind, certainly Mark Brunel. And now I can add Brady Smigel, ranked by some as the best sophomore quarterback in the country. He may or may not be in the NFL in a few years. We shall see. But tonight, he was out there on the turf taking on St. Joseph in the Knights' home opener. Smigel and the Panthers coming into the game 2-0, Knights 1-1. This turned out to be a game for the ages. First quarter tied at 7, handoff to Fred Jordan to the Knights, and he goes untouched. From 11 yards out, 14 to seven Knights move to the second Knights, add to the lead. Carter Vargas, who scored in the first, adds another 21-10 Knights. Then less than a minute later after a Panther fumble, Knights score again. Nicholas Matawatia with the plunge, 28 to 10. But back comes Smigel and the Panthers after a Panther touchdown. They score late in the half. Smigel to his brother, Bo Smigel. And the Panthers were down 28-23, but just moments after that last minute of the half, it's Vargas again, his third touchdown. But Smigel would then throw for another touchdown just a couple plays later at the break. Knights led it 35-30. Second play of the second half. Offense picking up right where they left off. Matawatia going deep. Laid it out perfectly to Nicholas Fossey. 55-yard touchdown, 42-30 Knights. Smigel then threw another touchdown. Knights would answer right back again. Matawatia to Fossey. Another long touchdown. And the Knights were up 49-30. 37, no quit in the Panthers. Smigel, just unreal, escaping pressure and throwing touchdown number six. Here to his brother, Bo. Again, it's the Knights up 49-43 there. Then the Panthers take their first lead of the game. Who else? Smigel, seventh touchdown pass of the game. This going to Jaden Mack. It was 52-49 Panthers, but it was all Knights in the fourth. Matawatia scoring again, giving the Knights the lead for good. 55-52, Vargas later added another, and the Knights Go on to win an absolute thriller, beating Newberry Park 63-52. So the Knights win a wild one, and with the victory, they improved to 2-1 and one on the season. Newberry Park drops to 2-1. and one. Both teams will have buys next week. Up next for St. Joseph, they'll be at Napomo in two weeks, while Newberry Park will travel to Royal. In Orchid, I'm Friday Football Focus reporter Dave Valley. Back to you, Mike. Thanks for those amazing highlights, Dave. Up next, rivalry highlights from Lompoc and then plenty more Channel League action. Royals and Real Mesa highlights on the way.